you'll be seeing in just a few seconds is the remote healing ritual that I performed for a couple. They were so pleased with the fast manifestation that they decided for me to show you guys. What you guys will be seeing now is, I'm gonna turn this over to keep my client's name private. What I wrote on here is some of the manifest, manifested things that they want to manifest in this healing and um, the private things that they have shared with me. So what I would do is place it in the center and use my selenite, place it on top, so all that energy, all that cleansing, all that purification will be directly transcendent on their request within them, within their space. The next thing I would do is take another selenite cylinder. Inside you see a white tea light. White is purification. White is healing. White is, is cleansing. So after I do that, I'll take the representations because this is actually a couple's healing. So I'll take the feminine and place her there. And this is the masculine and place him here. This is a new service that I have that I that I actually put up, but it's a service I've been doing for a couple of years. But again, I have been doing things privately, but my ancestors and my spiritual team wants me to actually get out there and offer them to a wider service instead of just doing them exclusively. So now I offer them to, you know, different types of clients. So if this is something that you're interested in as far as a healing ritual um, that's specifically for you. Um, some of the areas of healing is generational curses, past life um, traumas, current life traumas, relationships, and all those type of things in those areas of healing. Those are the things that I offer. You can find all that information on my website um, and in the description. So the next thing that we will do here is I will gather more of my tea lights. And I will place them clockwise around each of them. I'm using four tea lights each for each of them because number four is healing. And I will place them going clockwise again because I want them to go towards him, not away from him. So I'll place one at his crown and then one here. I want to lift that, you guys, so you can see it. Okay. And then I'm going to place one at his feet and another here. So he's completely surrounded. And then I'll take four more and I'll go to this side and I'll place one at her crown. Going this way, clocks, clockwise direction all while in my head with my spiritual team, some of her ancestors as well and her spiritual team are, you know, gathered around and things like that. So I placed it here. So they're all surrounded around her. Everything is surrounded around her so she can um, receive the most healing um, purification, transformation, any blocks, anything that was ailing her, she'll be able to receive. And the same thing with the divine, with the divine masculine and the divine feminine. 
And the next step of this I will do is I'll start by lighting the tea lights in the same direction that I placed them. So one at his crown. Let me cut the fan off. But one at the crown. Okay. One on this side. One at his feet. And all this energy. Energy travels. Any energy is not just stagnant. He'll receive all of this because my. Attention is great. His spiritual team, his ancestors and those that love him and guide him will definitely make sure that this energy goes directly to him. So I'll move over here and I'll place this one. I'll light this one in the same direction that I placed the tea lights down. And I'll light it here at her crown. And I'll light it at her side. And I'll light it at her feet. And you guys, I, I promise you, when I did this, for um, this is just an example of what I did for the clients previous. That's the video that I'm showing you now, like my routine. But I swear they were so excited and happy at like how they felt. That stagnant energy literally just lifted off of their bodies. And these are their words, not mine. They are theirs. Um, and they were so excited that they wanted me to actually share it with you guys and just, you know, just, just share this. They want more people to know. So if you know of someone that needs healing, that, that is kind of like in a blocked state, a stagnant state, then maybe I'll be able to, to, you know, assist them. And the last step of this ritual is the tea light that's in the cent cylinder the selenite cylinder I light last because it's going to fuse the energy within the two. So this is the last step. And what I do is I just let them just go out. I want them to absorb all the energy. I want the client to have all the energy, all the healing energy, all the purification, all the transformation, all the manifestation, all their desires, everything that they want. I want them to have that energy directly.